The Watcher of Cadnua. I expected you'd find us eventually. I'm a little more surprised to find you're still carrying that abomination around. I imagine Consul Halt is better company without his. You could do better, I have to say. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I am Lengra. Lengroth knew something Consul Halt did not. The brevity of life should be embraced, not feared. Each generation brings with it renewed strength and saves us from stagnation. When his time came, Lengroth was willing to let go, to leave his memories and body behind. He entrusted the gift of his life force, his vibrant spirit, to a worthy successor. Consul Hot clung to his pathetic existence like a leech. And there are others like him, who would see all the world serve as kindling, if only their flame can go on burning. Consul Hot's knowledge cannot outlive him. More than that, to ensure it could never be replicated. You yourself could easily have become the latest tool in Consul Hot's efforts to thwart the wheel and place himself beyond the reach of time. He would have used your very essence for fuel. A lesser death than you deserve, I think. But you made it out. In truth, I am glad you came. It saves me the effort of chasing you. These two? They're quite young, but already appallingly bright. There's no greater aim than to leave behind a lasting legacy, to teach those who will learn. Lengroth's teachings are interesting. We will strengthen our souls as they do. Morgeth Inn will be our home for eons. And for killing him, at least, I do thank you. But you should not have interfered. Commander Balleron would have brought me the phylactery. All of this could have been avoided. Discretion. It would hardly have been ideal to fly in atop Gavanerkos and get the attention of every dragon hunter in the region. I'd heard the bannermen were competent. It turns out that you're more competent. It's not as if you'll understand for very long, but as you wish. Intruders, mostly. How pleasant it would be to live in a world where nothing unfortunate ever happened to those who didn't deserve it, don't you think? That would be dreadful. A great deal of study, and a little magic. Once a suitable candidate has been selected, their predecessor gives up his life and essence, and the soul is transferred. I studied for many years and was selected, but at any step I might have turned away, buried myself in common living. My choice was to... Not at all. The energy of souls is a natural force all around us. Every being leaves traces of their passing, even as their essence finds root in new soil. We accept that the cycle exists, and that death will come. His memories, his awareness, those died with him. But his power remains. As a Watcher, you must have seen by now that certain spirits possess more strength than others. His knowledge we secure in the usual way. 
It is my hope that we will someday spread Lindgroth's teachings beyond our numbers. Your books are too small to read. No, no singing. Why? Because it's quiet, out of the way. The local wildlife keeps out the rabble. Hmm, I've never minded being out in the open air. But some of the apprentices found it difficult at first. But a bright young mind that can't survive contact with blood and dirt will fare very poorly in this world. No, not at all. Oh, he and the original Lindgroth were distantly aware of each other, I'm sure, being masters in their field. I learned of his obsessions too late. Perhaps if we'd been on better terms, I could have convinced him to reconsider. Too late in any case. My apologies, Consul Hot. A curious mind is a gift. Perhaps your soul will retain that quality. Think on it. You must have seen how desperately Kith cling to their lives. What measures they're willing to take to ensure theirs is the consciousness the phylactery was to be Consul Holt's great triumph over death. All the evil that Kith have done in search of falsehoods would pale in the face of what they will do for the truth. I've never eaten a watcher before.
worth and wrath. That's gonna look <laughs> scar. Uh -huh. Finish it! 